Let's take a look at some AI lip sync video generators. I tried about half a dozen lip sync tools and for each one of them, I used the same four subjects and audio that I generated in Eleven Labs. Now most, if not all of these tools have a built-in text-to-speech function where you can have the tool generate the audio to go along with your lip sync video, but I wanted to keep things as consistent as possible and try to use the same thing in each comparison. For each one of these AI lip sync tools, I'll show you the results I got and then I'll give you a quick rundown on how it works and the pricing. First up is Hedra's Character 3 model and my subject here is a news anchor. Tonight's top story, a breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Researchers at Tech University have developed an AI that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented inaccuracy. Next, I've got my character Jimmy. You may have seen him in other videos. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos and that's basically the same thing, right? A lot of people have asked if any of the lip sync tools do well with animals, like a dog or a cat. So here we have an adorable dog and he's got something to say. Personal space? Never heard of it. If you wanted boundaries, you should have gotten a cat. It wasn't terrible, but not exactly what I'd be looking for. A lot of folks also ask how the AI lip sync tools do with anime or cartoon characters. So I made sure to include one of those in this test drive as well. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. I've got to admit, when it comes to anime, I just don't know what I'm looking for. I noticed a couple of spots in there where his mouth was closed while there was audio happening, and it seemed like it took some liberties with like his teeth and mouth to make him look more human-like than anime, if that makes any sense. To create a lip sync video on Hedra, just click the Try Now button. From this model, drop down or drop up, pick Hedra Character 3. Hedra's added a whole bunch of video generation models in here since the last time we looked at it. I left the aspect ratio set at the same as the image I started with. The resolution choices were 540 or 720, so we'll go with 720. Duration, leave that on auto. Then come over here to image frame, and you can generate the image right here in Hedra. You can use your camera to snap the image, or you can upload an image, which is what I did. Then under this add script, you can either type in the text and have it generate the speech. You can record what you want the speech to be, or you can upload audio. Again, that was what I did. You'll get a preview of the audio, you can toggle on the remove background noise, and you can also change the voice with the AI voice changer. Select use audio, and in the prompt box, you can add emotion or gestures or things like that. That's optional, so I didn't use that. Just click the arrow in the pink circle. It'll tell you how many credits it's gonna take, and the number of credits is based on the length of what you're trying to produce. Hedra does have a free plan, 400 credits a month. The generations are gonna be slower, and it says no commercial use. Paid plans start at $10 a month for 1,000 credits. Next up is Kling. Tonight's top story, a breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. I shortened up the audio for Kling because my original audio was over 10 seconds. So rather than piece things together, I just used a shorter version of the audio. Now here's Jimmy. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos. And that's basically the same thing, right? Now, even though the audio is over, the video just kind of keeps going. Trying to create the dog video in Kling, I got this warning that your uploaded audio contains sensitive content. Please make edits and upload it again. You heard the audio I used for the dog. I don't know what was sensitive about it. But okay, I changed the audio and tried again, and it would not do the lip sync. It said it lacks a consistent face or moves too much or something. Moving on to our anime guy in Kling. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. To use lip sync in Kling, you have to have a video that was generated in Kling. So you can do text to video, image to video. Somehow you got to generate a video in Kling. And in my experience, it seems to work better if your original video in Kling doesn't have the character appear to be speaking. Once you have that video, just click the lip sync button underneath the video. You've got the option to use their text to speech, type in the text, pick your voice, set your settings, or import your audio, which is what I did. If the audio is too long for the video, you'll need to trim it down a little bit. You can drag in the beginning or end to trim that up. Confirm your cropping and hit the generate button. Kling does have a free plan. Of course, generations are generally much slower on Kling's free plan and you get a limited number of uses to some of the paid features. Paid plans start at $79.20 per year on the standard plan. That's 660 credits per month or $6.99 for your first month and $8.80 for every month after that. Next up is AI lip sync and cap cut. And I hesitate to even show this one because I hear from so many people saying, I don't have lip sync in my cap cut. I wish I could explain why some people have 
have it and some people don't, but I honestly have no idea. I can only say that I'm using CapCut desktop for PC in the US and I have a pro subscription. Here's our news anchor. Tonight's top story. A breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Researchers at Tech University have developed an AI that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented inaccuracy. And here's our friend Jimmy. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos, and that's basically the same thing, right? Now for our dog, I got this warning that a face was not detected and the result may not be optimal. I continued anyway. Personal space? Never heard of it. If you wanted boundaries, you should have gotten a cat. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot of movement there, and in CapCut's defense, it did warn us that it couldn't figure this out. So let's check out the anime guy. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. Yeah, so anime guy did not turn out well at all. His mouth is just a blurry mush. But CapCut Lip Sync has two options, standard or vivid, and those were all standard. So I ran them all again with vivid. Here's how they turned out, starting with our news anchor. Tonight's top story. A breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Researchers at Tech University have developed an AI that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented inaccuracy. The lip sync turns out a lot better on the vivid setting, but it's cropped to this one to one ratio. So that's kind of a trade off. Here's Jimmy. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos. And that's basically the same thing, right? It gave me the warning again when I tried the dog with vivid, but of course I did it anyway. Personal space? Never heard of it. If you wanted boundaries, you should have gotten a cat. And here's the anime guy using vivid. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. Way better than the standard version, but still had some issues. So to do an AI lip sync in CapCut, this is on desktop. Again, I'm using the PC version in the US. Select the clip of your subject on your timeline. I used an image. Then on the top right under video and basic, scroll down until you find a lip sync. Check that box. You can either enter text and pick your voice character if you want to do text to speech in CapCut. I chose add audio and uploaded the audio that I generated in 11 labs. It'll give you a preview, save that, and then choose between standard or vivid. It'll tell you how many credits it's going to take for the generation. That's based on the length of the video it's producing. Click generate. It'll start processing and when it's done, that clip on your timeline will be turned into your lip sync. The next tool is sync.so. Tonight's top story. A breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Researchers at Tech University have developed an AI that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented inaccuracy. Now there's a spot there where her head movement was really weird. It went from one side to the other really quick and got a little blurry or morphy or something. And I think that's because for sync.so, you upload a video of the subject, not an image. And the video I uploaded was shorter than the audio and it had maybe a little too much movement in there. So when the video tried to loop or bounce or do whatever it does, it just didn't come out really well. That might've been fixable with a better starting video. Here's Jimmy in sync.so. They say money can't buy happiness but it can buy tacos, and that's basically the same thing, right? Here's our dog in sync.so. Personal space? Never heard of it. If you wanted boundaries, you should have gotten a cat. Not a whole lot of movement there. Let's try our anime guy. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. Even though I'm an idiot when it comes to anime, I can tell that his whole face is kind of shifting there, which is not what we want. Now I haven't been getting into the account creation process for all these tools, but sync.so was a little bit different and I wanna tell you about it. So you click the get started, it's free, and then you can sign up with your Google account, GitHub account, or email address. And once you go through those steps, then I came to this screen that made no sense to me. It wants my webcam, or it wants me to pick one of these characters, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but I can't find any way out of it. So I go ahead and pick a character and hit next, and now it wants me to record something or pick a clip and I'm just thinking, I don't want to do any of this. I want to bring in my own visual and audio, but I can't find a way out of it. So I pick something, then it wants to know what I do. Pick a box there. How'd you hear about us? Okay, great. You've created your first thing, but I didn't even want that first thing. So we can go ahead and delete that. And maybe then I can get into a project that I actually want to create. I think what they're doing there is giving you a starter project to maybe show you how to do things, which I guess is cool, but it was creating a total disconnect in my brain. Anyway, now that we're into the dashboard where 
we can create what we want in the spot up top, upload a video down below that, drop in your audio file, record the audio that you want or generate using speech to text. Of course, I want to bring in my own audio. So that's what I did. Over on the right are a bunch of settings like this face padding. I just left that at the defaults. Most of the other settings are pretty straightforward. This sync mode down here at the bottom, this is where you decide how to handle if your audio is longer than your video or your video is longer than your audio. And this little info button here will explain to you what each of those options does. And this is where in the video with my newscaster where the head movement got a little off. Maybe if I had chosen a different option here, it could have corrected it even using the same video. Once you've got everything dialed in, hit that orange generate button and wait for your masterpiece. Sync.so has a free trial. They give you $5 in credits and then their plans range from $5 a month plus usage for the hobbyist all the way up to scale at $249 a month. Next we have Vozo or Vazo. Tonight's top story, a breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Now that is a really prominent watermark, but I am using the free trial access of Vozo. Let's see how Jimmy turned out. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos. And that's basically the same thing, right? When you go to upload your image in Vozo or Vazo, it does tell you very prominently not to use images that have multiple people, side profiles, cartoons, or animals. I tried it anyway with our dog and it said no faces detected, so it would not generate the video. I also tried it with our anime guy and it said no faces detected and would not generate a video. To create a lip sync in Vozo or Vazo, you can start with a video or a photo. I used photo, upload the image. You can use text-to-speech and their voices to create the audio or you can upload the audio, which is what I did. Drag in the audio I generated in 11 labs. You have an option between standard mode and precision mode. On the free trial, you get one free use of precision mode and I use that on the Jimmy video. The rest are all standard mode. It says that's going to take six points, not credits, but points. Hit generate and get it going. Vozo has a free plan that gives you 30 points. Paid plans start at $19 a month for 100 points per month and goes up from there. Now let's look at talking avatar AI. Tonight's top story, a breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Researchers at Tech University have developed an AI that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented inaccuracy. Now again, that weird head movement toward the end, I think that's coming in because of the base video that I provided it to work from. It's either looping back to the beginning where her head was in a different position or it's doing a bounce and it's just not working out very well. Here's Jimmy in Talking Avatar. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos. And that's basically the same thing, right? I went ahead and tried our dog with Talking Avatar. Personal space? Never heard of it. If you wanted boundaries, you should have gotten a cat. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. It's not, not normal. Let's try our anime guy. Not everything is as it seems. What if I told you? I was never drawn to begin with. Now, in their defense, Talking Avatar and I think all of these will tell you that they are not ideal for cartoons or for animals. I haven't found any AI lip sync tools yet that say they do good with animals or cartoons. Most of them tell you it's not going to be great and it may not work at all. For Talking Avatar AI, which is a desktop app that you download and use on your computer, it requires a video clip as the base. Drag that in and drop it over on the top left. Then for the audio, you can do text to speech over on the right. I uploaded my own audio, dropping it there on the lower left, and then drag your clips to the timeline. We put the video on top, put the audio underneath. You have some settings here. The most recent version right now is 1.4. That's what we'll go with. Check the box for front face if you have your character predominantly facing front or side face if they're turned a little bit. And then over on the right, choose how to handle when your video is longer than your audio or your audio is longer than your video. Click generate and when it's finished, it'll pop up with an option to open folder or keep editing. When you click open folder, it opens the folder on your computer where the generated AI lip sync video has been saved. Talking Avatar AI has a free trial and then paid plans start at $29 a month if you're paying monthly. So that's the handful of AI lip sync tools that I tried with each one of my subject and audio combinations. But I've got a couple of extras for you. One of them is GUI AI, which kept coming up when I was searching for AI lip sync generators. Here's Jimmy in SD low res. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos, and that's basically the same thing, right? Oh, poor Jimmy. Let's try GUI AI's HD high res. They say money can't buy happiness, but it can buy tacos, and that's basically the same thing, right? 
Well, that didn't get much better. I went ahead and tried our news anchor in Runway. This is how that turned out. Tonight's top story, a breakthrough in AI technology has stunned the scientific community. Now I'm a free Runway user and that one video took all my credits and it didn't really inspire me enough to want to go ahead and get a subscription to do a bunch more. So which ones do you think did the best job? Or do you know of another AI lip sync tool that does better than all of these? If you do, please tell me. In the meantime, I'll stay on the lookout, especially for ones that do pets and cartoons. And if I find a great one, I'll let you know. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you come back and see me in another video.